Hey, what's up guys? MLP Fatty here bringing you another PFC Plays, and today I'm joined with the one, the only, Swift Briss. Swift Briss, the gay freak who often misspeaks and sounds like a fucking geek. <laughs> So uh, so this time on PFC Play, it's going to be a little bit more of a laid-back episode because it's a Monday evening. I don't really feel like doing shit. Bruce don't really feel like doing shit. <laughs> and we're kind of crunched on time, so we're just going to bring you a little bit of one of my favorite games personally, some Super Mario 64. This game's a lot of fun. Dude, hell yeah it is. I gotta say, for for the upcoming Let's Plays, I'm gonna try a different Let's Play style, because listening back to the older ones, I feel like I kind of forced the the commentary a little bit. I'm just gonna try to be more like myself, instead of trying to be a Let's Player. Yeah. I mean, that's more or less what I'm trying to do. I'm just, you know, trying to roll with the flow at this point. Exactly. In this fucking game, this game flows so much. So, uh, dude, this game just brings back so much nostalgia for me. Hey, you said uh, you started playing this game when you were about 10, right? Yeah, somewhere around there. You know, it might have even been a little younger now that I really think about it. Because, like, like this is another game that I've just been playing for, like, years upon years upon years. I only, I had a chance to play this game from probably about 1996 to 2002. That's when my uh, Nintendo 64 got sold, and I didn't have a chance to play it again until I discovered emulators. And that was probably in like 2005, I think 2005, 2006, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was never uh, very good at it when I was a kid because um, I started playing this game like literally like when I was six, like <laughs> five or six. So just imagine like a five-year-old trying to understand like the shitty camera in this game and like the awkward platform, like early 3D platforming that like even... Like, for example, like, I think Tomb Raider had better 3D platforming in this game, and it came out earlier, didn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. I to, did, yeah, I think Tomb Raider came out either the same year or a year earlier. Yeah, maybe a little bit earlier. Um, but, yeah. But, uh, I, in retrospect, like, the camera, like, the camera, like, the one thing that people complain about often is the camera in this game. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I mean, that might just be Stockholm Syndrome. I don't really know, but... I can play this game now and not get annoyed by, like, having to maneuver the camera around. Yeah, and right. I, I have it down to a science. Like, I know exactly where I want the camera to be. Oh, fucking Mario. I usually have it, like, out as far as possible. And either, like, directly behind Mario or at, like, a 45-degree angle. Yeah, usually I just kind of let it follow him around. Like, every once in a while I'll hit the, um, hit the R button so it just follows him, like, directly behind him. Right. I never use the Mario cam, like, ever. I never found it to be very useful. Now, what I'm... I guess what I'm technically trying to do here is I'm... I'm technically following a speedrun strat, even though I'm not really gonna be speedrunning this game, because it's fucking ridiculous to speedrun. But as you saw, I got a star in the first uh, in the first level there in Bomb on Battlefield, but now I'm coming to Womp's Fortress. And that's because... You can't get all the stars on your first go through on uh, Bomb on Battlefield because you need the um, wing cap. Right? Yeah, you need the wing cap, and that's something that you don't get till just a little bit later on. So I just say fuck it, and I just grab one star and then I come to here. Now, I usually try to go to the uh, the ice place next. Now I'm gonna try something here, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So I think I got a. Then... What is this? I've never seen this sorcery before. Ah uh, no, I totally messed up. I'm gonna try it one more time. So what I'm what I'm trying to do, is you know the little star that you have to shoot yourself through the cannon and hit the little breakaway wall there. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's a way of getting that without actually breaking the wall if you just clip Mario through. So I want to see if I could try and. Get it. Yeah, I want to see this because that sounds interesting. Go like that. And then... Fucking a. So it probably took me three or four years of playing this game as a kid to get like eighty-five stars. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Well, because my mentality about playing games when I was younger was I just wanted to have fun. Like I treated them like sandbox games. Like uh, 
That's why, I, like, when Grand Theft Auto 3 first came out, I loved that game so much. It was my favorite game for the longest time because it was pretty much just a sandbox game. And I treated Ocarina of Time like a sandbox game. I treated uh, Mario 64 like a sandbox game. Just, like, fuck around and, like, do weird shit. Just, like, get old stars that you've gotten before but in different ways. Um, like, not even care about beating the game or, like, seeing what the ending is. Yeah, no, I hear you. All right, I've... I'm taking like way too long on that shit, so I'm just gonna give up on it. I'll, I'll, I'll get it the right way later on. Instead, I'm gonna try and get the 100 coin star. Oh, wow, really? I mean, hey, why not? Like, completely going the opposite route of a speed strat. You know, sure. those, those flower guys used to scare me as a kid. Oh, yeah, it's like... I, I used to... I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, like, I would used to walk by them, and, like, I, I would see that they're just sitting there sleeping, so I'd just be like, hmm, all right, cool, I'm just gonna keep walking by, and then when they just pop up to life like that, I was just like, oh, my God. It was like them and the fucking piano. Oh, yeah, that's right, you know, in Big Boo's Haunt. Yeah, Big Boo's Haunt, yeah. The, it, like, I literally was traumatized by that level. Like, I, when I was a kid, I never wanted to play it. I probably played that level, like, maybe five times. I'm just like, nope, too scary. I don't want to do it. And with the flowers, I wouldn't even walk around them. I would fucking crawl around them. Because <laughs> I was so scared of, like, actually, like, waking them up. I did not want to fucking endure the horrors of, like, those things chomping me to bits. Motherfucker. Other people Come make on, that look... might work. <laughs> Other people make that look so easy. <laughs> Alright, so I kinda semi-fucked up there. I said I was gonna go for the 100 coin star, and then, uh, I, I touched that star instead. <laughs> I wanna see you do wall kicks might work. That's what? actually my favorite star in that level. What, in this level, or...? No, no, the other, the, uh, the snow level. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, that's literally my favorite star to get. Well, in that level, anyway. I can't... Yeah. What, what's your favorite star to get in this game? Mm, that's that's a rough one because I personally I like a lot of the stars. Oh well, oh shit! I lived. Man, you that. <laughs> that was nothing but luck. Don't even try to play it off. No, no, yo, dude, that was all skill. What are you talking about? All right, buddy. But uh, no, my my favorite star to get in this game that I would have to say it's one of the ones in um TikTok Clock. Oh like, god, I hate that level. Nah, dude. For some reason, I I get like a boner when I play that level. Ugh. And it's, um, so there's actually, so you know how you gotta get the red coins in that one, like you gotta jump in at a certain time to make the little spinny platform stop? Yeah. So I actually know a way of getting all the red coins without making those platforms stop. And it just makes it one of the most satisfying, like, stars to get in the game if you could do it right. Because you got, like, all the platforms moving, and you're, like, grabbing all the eight red coins, and there goes one of those coins, fuck that. Oh, wow, that's gay, man. So you're not gonna be able to get it now. I mean, I'll still get it, dude. There's more than uh, there's more than a hundred coins on this level. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Dude, I thought there was like... always exactly a hundred coins in each level. No, no, dude. The the only level that comes close to that is actually um, Jolly Roger Bay, which will be coming up on. I don't know if we'll do it in. Th I don't know if I'm gonna do this one in this episode, but we'll get that. We'll get to that one eventually. I think the funnest level for me, just in general because it's the one I played the most as a kid, was, um... Man, I'm, I'm fucking forgetting the names. I, 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 I call myself, like, some kind of nostalgic fool for this game as if I played it so much, but I can't even remember the names of the level. <laughs> but, um, the, the lava level in the basement, uh, that, that's the level that I love the most and I played the most. Like, I would oh, literally just... that's, play... um, Lethal, Lethal Lava, uh... Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. I would literally just play that level... Like, just so I could surf around on the, the turtle shell, and just so I can go back and get all the stars, because I, I thought getting the stars in that level was, like, the funnest shit ever. Yeah, dude, right? That shit was, yeah. like, really fun. That and also, I think, actually, pretty much most of the basement levels were my favorites. Those are the ones that I played the most. Uh, by the time I got to um, the second story of the castle, like, I started to kind of get a little bit jaded, because... Um, like the TikTok clock level that Fatty was talking about, I hated that level so much. And the one where you have to ride the magic carpet, I fucking hated that level too. Oh, that was a uh, Rainbow Rainbow Cruise or something like that, or Rainbow yeah. Ride. 
something like that, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I got super, I got super jaded towards the end of the game and just lost interest. <laughs> but I did beat it though. I did get, I ended up getting like 80 something stars, like 85, 86, something like that. I never, I've never actually completed the whole game. That Hell was... yeah. Oh man, you did it. Here we go. I remember on the playground, I actually, a friend had to explain to me that you could actually get uh, a, a star for uh, doing 100 coins, and I kept telling him he was full of shit. <laughs> and then I actually did it myself, and I was like, well, alright, I guess he was right. Because back in the day, you used to hear rumors all the time about uh, video games. It turned out to not be true. And to me, that just seemed like a rumor, like, oh, you get 100 stars. Like, to me, back then, even getting, like, a... Not 100 stars, but 100 coins. Even, like, back then, even just getting 100 coins in one of these levels just seemed, like, impossible. Yeah, right? It just seemed, like, absolutely crazy. There there would be, like, absolutely no way in hell that you were going to get 100 coins, let alone in every single level. Yeah, especially if you were me and you sucked at video games. Hey, man, I wasn't I wasn't too prolific back in, uh, back in my day, either. I mean, I'm not ashamed. I'm good at other things. But I had fun, like, in spite of the fact that I wasn't all that great at video games, I still had a lot of fun. Oh, fuck, I didn't even mean to kill that poor piranha plant that time. And he and... comes back to life? Whoa, what? Is that a glitch? What the fuck? Did... Okay, everybody saw that, right? Alright, well, fuck that, 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 that's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Yeah, you understand why I don't like these guys now. Like, fuck you, man. They can literally respawn like some sort of like zombie plants. Oh, dude, it's plants versus zombies, except they're the plant and the zombie. Dude, we need to figure out a way to do uh, zombies. Uh, eight, uh, what is it? Zombies ate my neighbors. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I, I want to do co-op on that and see how far we can get. Oh man, yo, that 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 game's fucking fun as hell. Oh yeah, definitely. Hello, Never Mr. Womp King. What's the I never liked this guy, but I liked him a lot more than uh, King Babom. I never yeah. knew you could clip through him like that. Yeah, so I just kill him the cheap way. See, I'm learning things about this game that I, I never even knew before. I didn't know you could just clip through him. Oh man, what's he gonna get next? The world may never know. The world may never know as I jump back into the same painting. <laughs> uh, this one's a fun one to do also, but I don't think I'm gonna... Is it the owl one? Uh, oh. no, it's when you climb up to the top of the uh, fortress. Oh, yeah. I always like the owl one. Like, any time in this game where you get to fly around, oh. or you get to, um, where you get to fly around and you get to use the turtle shell, and, like, just literally just surf around everywhere and just kill everything in your path. Hell yeah. Those are always my favorite parts of the game. Like, just fuck around shit. Like, not even, like, getting stars, but just fucking around shit. Man, fucking hell, Mar Mario, what are you doing? Alright, so speed I guess Speed run strats by Fatty. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, speed run. Yeah, let's, put, let's put a huge asterisk on that. Yeah, the, the title of this video should be speed run with an asterisk next to it. Yeah, how not to speedrun Super Mario 64. That's a whole genre of video, isn't it? Oh man, dude, that'd be... I could turn that into a series. <laughs> how not to play a game like Fatty. There's uh, there's this guy who used to make uh, video game reviews named Spoonie. And uh, there's this... Uh, like, he's turned into like this guy who just does, uh, who does shitty Let's Plays where he yells at his fans and like gets really upset and like there's like a whole series of videos now out there on YouTube like dedicated to just shitting all over like his poor attitude and his shitty let's playing oh jeez it's really? like talk about like falling from grace like this guy used to be one of the best reviewers on YouTube and on the internet period like uh, what was it like 10 years ago like 5 or 10 years ago and like now he's just like relegated to obscurity He's just known as, like, that asshole. 
He just dad asshole. Like that asshole who makes like shitty let's plays on his well, channel. Oh, you fucked that up. <laughs> yes, I did. So I'm gonna go for the other star instead. And I'm gonna do it the not so fun way because I gotta talk to this guy and. Man, I know there's like a really simple setup to clip through that top there, and I really wish I'd fucking remember it, because I would love to show you guys. But, I'm gonna do it the cheap way. You know, as a kid, I often wondered why, in the levels, like, there were never more of those, uh, red bombs. Fuck. Like, uh, like a, a, a funny, like imaginative like scene in my mind that always played out would be like the red bombs waging war against the black ones yo that would be cool as hell yeah like I, I thought about that kind of shit when I played games I always thought like uh, like why why didn't they do this or like why could we see like a cool fight scene with like these characters I worried about that kind of stupid crap instead of like actually beating the game <laughs> yeah like Fucking, what if the Goombas and the Piranha Plants decided, hey, we don't like each other no more? It'd make for really good, like, a uh, really good narrative, like, uh, little subplots. See, I think that's what this game is really missing, because, like, there there were, like, subplots in other Mario games, right? Um, I mean, yeah, kinda. I, I might be thinking mostly of, like, games like Super Mario RPG or, um... Some of the shittier ones, like, uh, like, uh, what is it, uh, Hotel Mario. I mean, yeah, but those games are still technically canon. Yeah. But I feel like that, like, that, like, this game could have benefited from that in, like, some profound ways. I don't know, like, obviously that's speculation, but... Hey, there we go. And now you can go fight Bowser. Bowser! Dear pesky plumbers, we're using this same joke again in another one of our videos. <laughs> Yours truly, King Koopa. All right, so now I'm actually gonna go do one of my uh, one of my favorite stars. Ooh, the slide! I always love the slides. So well, the slides are really cool because I just don't actually slide down the whole damn slide. I do it the very cheap way. Yeah, I, I tried to uh, like figure out a way to do that as a kid too. But uh, most of the time, I couldn't get it to work. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Oh fuck, I messed it up. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> yeah, you really messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just making the whole speedrunning community look great right now. Hey guys, I know how to speedrun. Fucking get me on AGDQ, plus. Look, I could get into the painting so great too. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Talk about the fucking bad camera in this game. Alright, alright, I got this this time. I totally got this. Oh, nope, no I don't. Nope, nope, nope. There, there goes Fatty again. Alright, cool. I'm just so glad that you don't lose a life in, uh, in that level. Oh, really? I, you know, I never noticed that. Yeah, so unlike so like any of the um and any of like the major castle levels, like not um not, not like any of the painting ones, but like these little like off ones that they have. Right. If like you fall out of the sky or like you like fall like through the water or whatever, you don't actually lose a, a life. You'll yeah, just... like the wing cap level, right? Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. I mean it's a good way to get good at it without fucking uh losing all your lives, I suppose. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this like two more, maybe three more times. Depending on how much longer we want to go with this episode, but come on, Mario, get in the fuck. There we go. God damn it, Mario, get in the fucking robot. <laughs> all right, all right, totally, totally got it this time. Another one of those, another one of those uh, embarrassing things from my childhood was that I never figured out that. Well, not never, but it took me the longest time to figure out there actually was a painting you could jump through in that room. Like, I tried jumping through the one, like, that you see, like, when you walk into, and I'm just like, well, fuck this, there's nothing I can do in here. This this room is just a fucking red herring. But then I found out later on, like, oh, I just had to turn to the right and jump into that one, okay. Yeah, and then it was like, oh, it's all better now. And need I, need I remind the audience, I was, like, six when I first started playing this game, so... You know, I remember, do... that was, um, 
Oh man, fuck, what, what world was that? Was that, that was for like the uh, the second snowy one, right? Something Wait, like that. Wait, what now? The, the one where it's got like the one painting that you try to jump into but you can't, and it's like you gotta like jump into the wall instead. Oh no, I was actually just talking about this room. <laughs> oh, man, like this, this. Oh, this one. Yeah, this particular secret star. Like I all what I would do, what I used to do as a kid was, um, I would go into the room and I would just try to jump into the uh, like the first stained window that you can see, right? Yeah. And, uh, and I would, I would try to jump into it. I'm just like, I, oh, like you can't uh, you can't do anything. It's just this room is just a fucking red herring. I wouldn't even think to try to jump into the other stained glass windows. <laughs> yeah, dude, totally. And I didn't figure that out until like later on. And like I said. You know, I remind you, I was like five or six when I first started playing this game, so obviously I was very retarded. Oh, I think I royally fucked that up. Yeah, yep. so too. And there's there's no cannon in this stage, is there? Um, no. So I think I'm just gonna try and fly around and re-grab... Well, you, you don't you want to hit the um, cap? The thing? Yeah, I do want to hit it, but I want to get the... Fuck! Alright, fuck this, Mario. Just, just, just do that. Do the thing. Alright, let, let, let's try that again, fatty, and not be as dumb. I used to always think he was looking up into the sun, but like, that'd be kind of surreal. Like, looking up into the sun while you're into the while you while you're fucking like in the castle. So I I wonder what that the, the strange aura, like shining down from the ceiling, actually is. Hey, there we go. I'm not as dumb this time. So now I'm gonna try for a very dumb trick that I know I'm not gonna get. It's called a yump. No nope. a yump. So it's when you jump on the switch, but you don't actually touch the ground, so it skips the text. Nope. <laughs> Alright, well, fucking way. Yeah, so speedrunners make that look really simple. So what they do is they either do like a long jump or um, they like do like a nosedive onto the top of the switch, and they just barely skim it. And it bounces them off the top of it, so it hits the switch, but they keep going and they grab the star, so they completely skip that text box that says, Hey, you got the switch. Well, so you just hit like a few pixels of it or something like that, right? Yeah, pretty much. But, um, so I, we're going to leave this episode off here. Uh, yeah, I think 11 stars this is a pretty good start, right? Yeah, pretty good start. You haven't even fought Bowser yet. <laughs> haven't it? Yep, we'll, we'll, we'll get up to him eventually. He's, he's hiding up there, you know, up there in his little, uh, little big star door or is he find out in the next episode so i'm fatty he's briss this is super mario 64 and we will catch you guys in the next one bye bye <laughs>